go. Uh, Frank, I have to ask, is that beard real or is it a hoax? No, it's real. Is it real? Okay, yeah. all right. I, I, I won't grab it. It's been yeah. since birth, please don't. <laughs> since birth, it's been there. Uh, Frank's here, you're from Australia, yeah? Originally, yeah. And, and what role do you play in the National Pigeon Association? I'm, I'm the editor and producer of our national magazine, mm -hmm. which, which is circulated to all members. We put out five big colour issues a year, which you get as part of your membership. Well, there you go. Now, we have a couple of examples of pigeons right here. What, what can you tell us about these two pigeons? Okay, well, these are the largest and the smallest of all the domestic breeds. Um, this fellow on the right is a giant runt. <laughs> uh, That's what I am, is a giant runt, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, runt's a bit of a funny word for a pigeon like that, but that originally meant a bird that was at, there was no standard for, that's what uh -huh. it meant. Um, they were bred by the Romans well, in, uh, well before the birth of Christ. Uh, they were called the Roman banquet pigeon, and I think it was 300 BC, someone's going to correct me on this, but Pliny the Elder wrote that he was disgusted by the high price that people would pay for these birds, and he said they lavished more attention on them than they did on their wives. Yeah, yeah, and I understand you have some issues with your wife and how many pigeons you have, and oh. we'll go into that later. I need to take care of some weather, but uh, Frank, thanks for being here, okay. and thanks for your knowledge. You can come out here and check it out, probably run into Frank and ask him questions about the pigeons, and, and he's a wealth of knowledge. Let's go right now to uh, the temperatures that we have.